Hey, good morning. Happy Monday. I'm on my way to work. I got to work on this color. Although I know some of it is the fact that it's barely daylight. Car, you need to be uh, in, not in such of a hurry. So it's Monday. I'm on my way to work. My hair's wild again. I think it's just the way I do it. I get in a hurry and, you know, I don't know. Although I do like this better than what, I, what it looked like when I come out of the hairdresser. <laughs> she always straightens it and then curls it and it makes it flat on top. And I don't like my hair flat on top. I need to tell her that. <laughs> You know, I just let it go because I know I'm going home. But, you know, I just prefer my hair hairy. You know, I'm a southern girl. I want that hair up. I want my hair up high like New Jersey and Texas. I, I want my hair up volume. Volume, volume, volume. I even talked to her about hair extensions to give me volume. Because it's still getting thinner. I mean, I still have a lot of hair, but it's still getting thinner. I noticed it, especially when she does it. Okay, not much to talk about today. Uh, I did watch Tim last night. I watched that evening chat or whatever it is when he's driving. You know, he... I don't believe he's staying with Fred and... Raffaella because I don't think they have the room. I think it's a one bedroom condo. I mean, I think it, actually, I think it's more like a one bedroom studio almost or the size of it. Cause it seems extremely small when he did the tour that time. And I know there's going to be no parking places down here. So I'm going to have to go to the, to the flashing lights. <laughs> well, actually there is some it's on this end, but oh, well, Oh, well, I could have went down a little further. See if any, you know, every once in a while, I'll see where people's left of the morning when I'm walking and I'm thinking, why didn't I drive down there? But anyway, I need to walk. So I, I told y'all I had a hard time with my foot. Well, I put my brace on last night that I have. And you won't believe the difference that I feel this morning. Also, I'm wearing a different pair of shoes. I'm wearing a pair of Clark's. And Clark's are a, you know, I, I guess it's not really an old people brand, I guess, but it is a comfort brand. So I'm wearing a pair of Clark's loafers with a heel. And, you know, their heels are soft, so I don't mind them. They're not like a stiletto or like a kitten heel. They're solid. They have some give to them and all that good stuff. So anyway, we're gonna be way up here on top of the mountain. How exciting to be on the top of the mountain. Not really, but. <laughs> so did you see that they had the big concert at Charlotte for, uh, to raise money for the mountains? It looked like it was really good. My hairdresser was actually going to that. And, you know, I didn't even... I mean, I thought about us going at one time. But I knew it would be so late getting home. And I also knew it was the same day as the barbecue festival. And, you know, we're just not as young as we used to be. And I don't mean to sound like I'm this old person. But I mean, let's just be real. I'm not 16 anymore. I'm not 25 anymore, 35. I just can't do all that anymore. I wish I could, but I can't. Now, if I was retired, I might've gone because that mean, would've meant I didn't have to get up this morning. But anyway, it's neither here nor there. I was talking about Tim. Anyway, I don't think that he is living there. I don't know if he's living in the camper. 
you know, I've always thought in the back of my mind that he and Tammy have a place. They're just not telling anybody. But then again, who knows? I mean, he's not, he's, he's bought this stuff to where he don't have to use the stove. And Carl thinks he's got the camper for sale. Well, my thing is the camper's always for sale. My thing with Tim is that anything he has is for sale at any time as long as he's got a place to live. So he will never sell the camper I, unless he has a place to live. And I don't believe he's staying with Fred and Raphael. I just do not. Do I think he's taking advantage of them? Probably so. But you know, they can say no. So if they let him, more power to them. That's all I know. I mean, they know how he is. They know he's gonna take advantage of it. They've known him long enough now. They've known him longer than we have. So they should know how he is. It's the way I look at it. So I don't feel sorry for him. I don't feel sorry for anybody that has known him for a long time. Now, if you've not known him and don't know how he is, I get it. And I know I've never met the man in person, but I know who he portrays on camera. And if he don't want to portray himself that way, then he should not do it. Okay, then this is another thing that really bothers me about him. Because people want to know why I keep watching him. Well, I keep watching him for the soap opera effect. I've said that over and over again. You know, they don't watch my videos. And I mean, if I need to give... Um, if I need to give a reason every time I do a video, then I guess I, I'll, I'll have to. But I watch him for the soap opera effect. It's a continuing drama for me. I like continuing dramas. I want to see what happens. So that's why I watched him. Do I watch him all the time on YouTube? No. Sometimes I go to that other place you can watch him where he don't get no views. But I'm not going to say I don't give him views. I do. I have YouTube Premium. I don't feel like he gets hardly any money from me because I don't see ads. Now, does he get a penny? He probably gets a penny a month from me is what I'd say. I don't have no issue giving him a penny a month. <laughs> I mean, I really don't. And, you know, he's entertaining me somewhat. So, therefore... I'm able to make videos and make a little money, so I don't mind giving him a penny. And that's the way I feel. But all I'm saying is that I don't like it when he starts telling people how to live. When he starts telling people to retire and live your life. You can live your life without being retired. Don't retire until you're ready, because I can tell you I know too many people and I know Tim will never tell you about that, that person that he meets that says, I wished I would have stayed on a couple of years or, you know, I do get bored at times or something like that because Tim is bored. No doubt in my mind, Tim is bored. So my thing is, and I got to go, <laughs> is he, if he would stop telling people what to do and how to live their life and act like that they're not living their life if you choose to work or if you choose not to retire at 62 if you decide to wait till 67 or 70 you need to not tell people they're crazy or because that only makes you look like that's when I tell you that you know some people say I diagnose him I don't diagnose him I diagnose what he portrays not Tim, but the character that he is portraying. That's what I do. Also, carnivore. If he was truly eating carnivore, he would have lost, I would say, five pounds by now. That's why I say he's either, it's the coffee and it's the too much cheese or whatever he's been eating. But he would have lost five pounds for now. Now, something can be said for holding your weight or whatever. But I still say there's somewhere along the lines he's cheating. Either it's the too much coffee or it's the too much cheese. Or the, we know the nuts are not good because you it's hard to measure nuts. I don't eat them. I ate them at the beginning years ago. But now I don't eat nuts. Now, I'll tell you right now, I don't follow it all the time. Never said I did. So don't come over here and tell me, here I am telling you what to do. <laughs> anyway, I'm talking about the, the Tim 
people that come over here and act like that. I don't shouldn't be telling him what to do. I'm not telling him what to do. I'm just telling him what he's doing wrong. That's all. I know what I know what you do wrong because I do wrong all the time. So I know, but I know when I follow it exactly, the weight comes off. Anyway, I gotta shut up because I'm rambling on. Y'all have a great day. Happy Monday, and I'll talk to y'all later. Love you. Bye.